bold your methods of thinking, the way you looked at the world? Well, we had a lot of uh, little games. Like he would say at the dinner table, he'd think of some little problem. And he'd say, suppose we were, you were a Martian, we were Martians, and we came down to this earth, that, and we'd look at it from the outside. And that, I can't explain exactly what he meant, but there's a way of looking something anew, as if you never saw it before, for the first time, and asking questions about it as if you were different. For instance, uh, if you were to ask, later I did some little amusing research for a paper in college on sleep. It started with a question of his kind. Suppose you were a Martian who never slept. They didn't have sleep. You didn't have to sleep. And you came down to this earth and you saw these people who had this funny property that every day for a certain amount of time had to lie down and become unconscious. And then the natural question would be, how does it feel to get unconscious? Uh, what happens to you? Ideas run along and suddenly they stop. Or do they just run more and more slowly? But what happens to your ideas? How does it feel to become unconscious? So I tried to answer the question. What happens when you become unconscious?